Hello there, YouTube. Welcome back to the game three of this weekend's Sunday showdown between myself on the right playing Bilzamon and Avalt on the left playing Red Purple Imperial. If you have not watched game one or game two, spoilers are ahead, so make sure that you do watch those games and then come back here and finish watching the match. To those of you that enjoyed this, let me know in the comments whether they like or dislike this. And, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever. Um, I let Avalt go first, and he discard, He plays Vimon, discards Paladrum, and draws two. I want the extra card, which is why I allowed myself to go second. Uh, and we start with the Nipmon into a training where I grab a Darkness Wave, which uh, we like Darkness Wave, triggers our combos later on. Then we go for another training, add a Nipmon. All right, that telegraphs to me that I either have a good champion in hand that I want or that I need more rookies, one or the other. Not a big deal. Something I've done differently with this game, uh, you might notice the time in this game moves faster than usual. Usually I increase the video speed by 0.15. However, uh, in today's video, this one, I had to increase it by two times speed. This was over a 20 minute game three. So <laughs> things are going really fast. You know why. And I just lingered his Flame Dramon, and now he's, he's rebuilding on his turn, grabbing his cards, milling some more cards, Analog Youth. And now we go another Impmon here, draw. And I don't know if I have the cards in my hand to build the stack or not. I don't remember this game at all. Impmon swings into Memory Tamer, which feels really bad for me. Kind of unfortunate. I wanted to die, so I can build some cards. Uh, we do Darkness Wave, build three, nothing crazy there. Uh, and that was just a passive return properly. Yeah, I am Akko there. Uh, I've probably would have saved the Darkness Wave if not for the Memory Tamer, but decided to get the efficient use of the memory then and see what I'd get. Uh, I'm adding the limited Imp Mon to my hand, bottom decking Beals Mon Blast Mode. That's really, really important for me to know because I only play one. Uh, and this way we have access to the big mill Imp Mon, which will give us a lot more mill than we need to have. Here he's going for Worm Mon plays with just V Mons, no other targets really. Uh, and then he's going to evolve, and now he can DNA off if he would like to. Uh, it looks like he's going to. He's going to go into the uh, Pale Dramon. Sorry, the Dino Bee, because he has the Pale Dramon in Grave. Again, it's just testing, not a big deal. It's all good in the hood. Uh, now he's probably going to go in and try to swing again, try to get greedy, just like last time. Because uh, he really likes getting that extra damage off when he can. It makes finishing the game later on a lot easier. And with good inheritables, why not? So he's going in, and we hit the Beals Mon, which... Um, I do believe kills it, right? Yeah, dead. Very good. Analog Youth activates. He gets another memory. He gets to hatch an egg. So, all in all, good structure there. Thanks to the Analog Youth. Kind of gives him a play if things went wrong, which they did. And he goes with a miss boost to put me to one. Now, I'm up here. Uh, I'm debating keeping my guy in the back. I'm pretty sure that, unless I have another rookie in my hand, I'm going to keep it in the back. Maybe we'll try to actually play the game this time. Hopefully, uh, we are. We go into Wizardmon here. No witch mon's kind of unfortunate, but sometimes that's how it goes, you know. Uh, and now we're gonna go into a ball mon next. We're gonna mill three card, stack a card first, then mill three, mill that big ep mon, and we mill another memory card. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. And now if that ball mon dies, I get a build mon back, which is pretty valuable. And we're 14 cards in trash, which is nice. Pretty cool. I am unsure, unclear what I'm going to do right now, but that Impmon in the back is looking pretty spicy. So we swing with the bomb on it dies. We get back Bealsamon, then Pogamon activates Milling 2, triggering the Bealsamon activation. The, the Bealsamon brings back an Impmon here. Uh, I'm debating which one I want to bring back. It looks like I have 20 in trash, or, or uh, 19 in trash, I should say. So not quite enough to gain two memory. I was going to gain one memory with the Bealsamon. But we need to bring back an Entmon. So we're doing that Entmon just for the extra mill value later on. And that way if he blows up my board later on, maybe I mill something really cool. So here we go, adding the Bealsmon X to our hand again. Getting that Blast Mode closer and closer to the top of the deck. That way we can actually do things. And Death Slinger kills level 4. Uh, definitely a big shot he can rebuild and do it again. And that's okay. Not really a big deal here. Uh, he has the means to combo off, though. He can he can go off now. And there's the Shadermon for the Wormmon. Just like that. Very cool stuff. He's going to go ahead and probably add the Pale. Yeah, very good. He already has Dragon Mode, so that's pretty good. Now he goes. Now now we're in a combo all over again. Man, man seeing a Vault do this makes me want to play uh, Red Purple Imperial. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool when he does it. I love it. 
Anyway, uh, I doubt he's going to get greedy this time. I think he's just going to actually try and DNA and do some stuff here. Yeah, there it is. So now I'm going to pop the Ipmon. I'm going to mill three. Uh, getting to memory, he gets the Blitz. He still, he, we agree that he gets the Blitz here because of the way, you know, when Digivolving Blitz happens. Um, or whatever, however it works. So we're going to assume he can Blitz here. Um, and we're going to go, hey, he's just swinging to the Beelzemon, go into the fighter mode. Oh, 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 yep, just like that. Yep, for a second there I thought he wasn't attacking the Beelzemon, but he was, so it's good. I'm down to one security, pretty scary stuff. Um, my Impmon won't be able to kill his fighter mode, and I know that. Like, fighter mode is going to live, which is super unfortunate. So I need to think about if I can actually win the game this turn. I need to get blast mode. I have no access to uh, Rivals Barrage or Calling or nothing like that. So I can't just add it back to my hand. I also know that if I just leave it there, I could get Blitz on me next turn because we know he plays that. So I'm definitely thinking I'm kind of in the doghouse right now with only one Impmon and no rivals to add back parts to our hand. I also know that if it does die, he is going to get two bodies back, a Vmon and a Wormmon. So pretty scary stuff, all in all, and really not sure how to handle it. Uh, definitely the play is probably going to be an Impmon into uh, an interesting play that could happen is Impmon into EX2 Beals to pop the fighter mode by effect. That could be something interesting. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily do that. It also only does one check and then Beals X can come in and do two checks. And, and like that, that's pretty good value, I think. So definitely a play that I can consider. I don't, I honestly don't remember what I do here. Uh, here, I'm doing some math. I'm, I'm definitely doing some math. I know roughly where the where the blast mode is in my deck, and I need to know if I can get it or not. So I actually choose to forego the warp play. Uh, I believe if I'm doing this, it's because I have no way to get to the to the blast mode. It's like to draw it, mathematically speaking, right now. So, and I'm hoping that the Witchmon plus the Baalmon, Baalmon Mill. I, I can't remember if I was doing this to like dig or hope that I got a Baalmon or something. If I didn't get a Baalmon, then I'm in big trouble. Okay, there's a Beelist Star for one. Beelist Star for one is pretty cool. Uh, now, the gamble here. I Okay, so I don't have Baalmon in hand. Do I swing the Witchmon and hope it dies to security? If it dies to security, Pogu Mills took a Netmon back and I can proceed to carry on. It's a thing I can do. Um, it seems like a bit of a wager that I'm taking, which is the nature of the deck, right? Sometimes it's just... Sometimes it is luck. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's got to hope that things go well. So I need the Witchmon to die. Uh, in retrospect, if I swing at security, the misplay was attacking security. Yeah. So definitely misplayed here. Beals X can mill burn three cards. I should have swung the witch into the fighter mode. That is what I should have done here, but I chose not to do that. So because of that, I think I'm in some hot water. Um, uh, no other way to put that, basically. Yeah, and we're just going for the Ayamako play here. So we have the wizard mon in hand, still no ball mon. Kind of unfortunate. And double rivals of bottom of deck feels pretty bad, too. So he has Blitz Omni, he has game. That's that's the reality we live in right now. Oh, and that's an interesting interaction. That milled the blast mode. That pops the dude. I forgot that happened. I straight up forgot. He was probably going for Blitz Omni for game. And then the mill blast mode there just actually stopped that. So there's still a chance. There is definitely still a chance here. Uh, he gets his bodies back, which is pretty cool. Uh, I get a Nipmon back from the trash because of the Beelist Star. Shadramon's going to pop off again. Go give us another Wormmon play. Wormmon's going to activate. But unfortunately, this just lets him combo all over again, <laughs> which which is not super good, especially because I already brought back the Nipmon with the Beelist Star because it is an effect that you have to do when you do it. And uh, now he can go ahead... And he could have just swung for game there, like potentially too. Uh, but Dragon Mode here, I'm debating what I want to keep. We keep the Beelist Star, Pokemon Mills 2, we mill memory, get a memory there. Pretty okay. Trying to mill Rivals Barrage, this is not happening right now. He's going to swing at the Beelist Star. Mill Rivals though, which is pretty cool. He doesn't have Fire Mode. 
Uh, not having fighter mode is actually super, super good for me. Pretty good. And uh, I, I don't know what he does now. He probably just can play something like an analog or mist boost or whatever to end the turn. I assume. Yeah, oh, but some training works too. That's nice. Now, I don't see a way anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I have no bodies. I scoop. That's it for Sunday Showdown. Let me know what you guys think. See you later.